Good afternoon, Richland. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a classic French omelet. So first you want to start with two eggs, and you want to make sure that you whisk them very vigorously. You want to make sure that it's completely smooth. And a lot of people will add salt to this when they start, which is really not what you want to do. You'll end up messing up your structural integrity of your eggs when you're trying to make your omelet. So really just straight eggs, whites, and the yolks. And you can add a little bit of herbs just to get a little extra aroma in there. And that is all you're going to start out with putting into your eggs. You want to make sure that you have an omelet pan over medium to low heat. Eggs are not a high heat cooking. See how when we add the butter, it doesn't start foaming and browning right away. You're really just looking to make sure that it's melted and uh, it's melted well enough to make sure that your egg doesn't stick to your pan. And you're probably not gonna be able to use too much butter. This was about two tablespoons. Once your butter is melted, make sure it's moved around and coating your pan well. You're gonna add your egg. So when you add your egg, you wanna make sure you keep it moving. You wanna make sure that you're breaking it up into as small a curd as possible. You don't want it to be just big chunks of scrambled eggs. So it's the constant moving, scraping the sides, and just making sure that it's almost like a texture of cottage cheese. So we'll keep doing this, maybe another 20 seconds. And you can see it's starting to set, and at this point, you can almost start flattening it out. You can turn your heat down a little bit, make sure you move it around just enough to set. So you're really, at this point, just trying to let some of your residual heat Stiffen up the eggs a little bit and make sure the bottom is cooked enough so that when you go to roll it, it's not going to uh, break in half. So at this point, if you wanted to add cheese,